Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. In today's video, we're gonna talk all about my pedal board. We all know that pedal boards can be very addictive and uh, what I did with mine is I decided to take a very simplistic approach when it comes to it. So not only that my board is very small, it's portable, it's very effective and very simple, it's also very affordable. To start off, my the board that I'm using is a Pedal Train Mini and the power supply is the T-Rex uh, Fuel Tank Junior. The board and the power supply, I bought both of them from a good friend of mine and uh, he gave me a really, really good deal on them. But if you're uh, on a budget, there are a lot of options out there. For example, Harley Benton makes great power supplies and great pedal boards for a very affordable price. For today's video, I'm not going to go really in depth and show you what every pedal does, but rather I'm just going to explain my signal chain and my theory behind the board. So the signal chain goes like this. I plug into my Moore Rumble Drive, my Harley Benton OD5 Custom Line Overdrive Special, my Harley Benton Vintage uh, Tremolo, the TC Electronic Echo Brain that I use for the slap back delay, and last but not least, my Swiss Army knife of a pedal, which is the Line 6 M5. I got this used uh, for 40 euros. It's almost brand new, and it has more than 100 effects in it. And I use this for my analog delays, like longer analog delays, my uh, modulation effects, or if I'm plugging straight into an, uh, an amp that doesn't have any reverb, I use the uh, reverb models from it. To top it all off, it also has a tuner built in, and come on, every even a decent tuner costs more than 40 euros, so I really got a good deal on this. And of blabbering, let's get into some tones. First one is going to be the Moore Rumble Drive and the TC Electronic Echo Brain for a uh, slight slapback. The second uh, tone is going to be my Moore Rumble Drive and I'm going to be utilizing a longer analog delay from the M5. And the third tone is going to be a very radical tone and I'm going to be using the Univibe model from the M5 and again uh, the Moore Rumble Drive. For guitars, I'm going to be playing both my PRS SE and my 335. And I'm also going to be using my Boss Katana to amplify and record everything.
so far feel free to let me know what you think under the comment section down below if you like what i'm doing please consider subscribing to my channel and ring the notification bell and i would also like to say thank you for your time signing off for today have a good one bye bye